Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. I was peeking at the back. This is an interesting one. I think you're going to like it. I was going to say, all I can see is Lum Reek. McNair's like, Blended Lum Reek. Yeah, We're going to test it. It had me perplexed. Long be your Lum Reek style. Ooh, do it. Okay, this was, th so Dustin had this one at, in here at Wichita, R&J Discount Liquor. Peated sticker. Yep. It's not even on the shelf yet. Whoa. So he had one or two bottles kind of behind the shelf. He's waiting for it to come in. I like it. He told me what this was, instant buy. Really? Insta? Insta buy. I like buy. to say insta. <laughs> Billy Walker. Okay. Love and Glen and Glen Allocky. This Woo! is a, this is a peated Glen Allocky Shut up. Kind of blend. Shut the door. Exactly. They're good with their sherry. I'm stuff. like, give me one. Yeah. Um, cracked it and tried it. So they did. They did go with McNair's um, yeah labeling or a, that. that kind of set up. A, I think a different company. This is actually so. This is a blend done by Billy Walker. Love it. Majority of it is Glen Allocky. But then he's also sourced Speyside and Isla whiskeys to blend into this. Really? And aged 55. In, aged in cherry casks. 55.1 ABV. Cask strength. Shut up. So. Now, I'm curious. Does it say which Isla? No, right. it does not. Obviously, I lean toward Ardbeg. And the one Isla, nothing against them. For whatever reason, I don't like the uh, Beaumore as much. I don't know why. I think it comes in a little more acidic to my palate or something, but okay. And they've got it right here at McNair's, Ooh. created by Billy Walker, peated, uh, exquisite, exquisitely. I like the exquisite. Eclectic. Ooh, eclectic. It's really a small print here. So it's different. No color added, non chill filtered, 10 years old, cast strength, batch one, 55.4%. With this hat and this shirt, I'm eclectic. Let's see here. Usually Scott's like, yes, you are. Billy has, Billy, Billy, Billy Walker. Well, that's what we call him. Has sourced the finest Speyside and Isla single malts, then blended with a with an aged Glen Allocky mm. in pursuit of the perfect balance between peat and rich, fruity character. The spirit was then laid to rest in premium Spanish sherry casks, wow. wine barriques, and virgin oak casks. Laid to rest makes you feel dead. Ten years old, if we didn't mention. I would have said laid to rest. In. I would have said tucked in, tucked in, <laughs> tucked away nicely. Yes, gently set aside. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a tangy, Ooh, malty, yeah, peat, a little peat. peat in there, earthy, but it's not a heavy peat. No, uh, -uh. not on the nose. Mm -mm. Got a little richer. Maltiness. I want to say dark, yeah. kind of non-sweet cherries. Okay. Just, I almost got like, you know, when, when I nose a, uh, a Guinness, you know, and you get that chocolatey type malt. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. It's like a yeah. chocolate True. malt in there. And it's Lang That's May that Your Lum Reek. I got the Pete there again. The Boutique House of Spirits. McNair's. Wow. That's very interesting. It's a, Hand me the camera. It's a, it's a touch of Pete. With a touch of sweet. Hmm. And then a little bit of fruitiness coming through. Wow, how in the heck they do all that? Huh. How did they do it? Billy Walker did it. Oh, Billy. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> he did it. Not they, he. Man, that's interesting. Yeah, the peat does not overpower. You kind of got to reach in and grab it a little bit. And then at the same time, you get the sweet and the fruit and the peat. Wow. Burnt orange. Blood orange. Oh. Oh, I got to taste that. Yeah, right. yeah. Very nice. A lot going on. I think this is a nose you could sit down and decipher mm -hmm. for a while. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, the the palate's like the nose. It's many many things all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the peat's mm. there in the finish. I'm I'm loving the peat, but there's other stuff. Sweet tangy tropical fruits. Yes, 
but darker at the same time, yeah. chocolatey caramels. And then peats. that earthy peat finish is still lingering. Wow, this guy, I think he's a magician. That feels wow. like Art Baker Lafroy could be type peat. Yeah, very much. It's hard to tell with the other. Yeah, because it's, it's the faded in there, in there. But there's no mistake. It's it. yeah, I mean, but it's, it's not a, prominent. This is, I mean, it feels like a prominent Isla peat. Right, but my it's not taking over some peats. No. can very very easily take over a dram. Yeah, it's not, which has got to be a very difficult thing, mm -hmm. because it's there in proportion to the other like yeah. pieces of the recipe. Balanced. Yes. Well balanced. Mm. Um, nice balancing of sherry, mm -hmm. of of scotch whiskey notes along with some peat. Ah, I'm liking this one too. Now I'm trying to get other things. I feel like like an earthy boy, it's hard because then the peat pops in and it kind of the peat takes over the finish, no doubt. And it's like this. This slippery open and mid palate slides away because as soon as I get the peat, I can't focus on anything else. Is it hey, caramel notes at the open? I get like a um, a Reese's peanut butter cup with okay. like a raspberry or a cherry mm. jam, like smothered on it. P peanut butter, so it's a little bit of a peanutty, okay, nutty, peatiness. I, I get the peanut buttery kind of chocolatey flavor mid palate and I get a fruit something on the very first flash there's some that's really being kind of overshadowed wow. by the darker earthy peaty mm -hmm. sherry notes but there is a little bit lighter tropical fruity tanginess up front okay a lot of layers there really is a yeah. lot of layers this one there's even nice. a little tang in the peat finish so it's no mistaking that it's a peat finish but i get a little bit of that tangy tropical fruit in the finish as well i'm scared to do water what what well this is great what yeah right now this is a, a beautiful <laughs> transition and i'm wondering well maybe this will help let's see yeah, uh, very surprising. I was excited to see uh, a Glen Allicky collabor peated collaboration type thing. Yeah. Had to get it. Not disappointed at mm. all with it. Okay. Love it. I think a great, like we've talked about, great balance here. Great blend. I've got an interesting note. I'm going to let, let you sip first because I don't want to influence. It's kind of mashed all the flavors together a little bit more. I'm going to let you say first because I'm picking up something different now. Are you getting anything? No, not yet. Okay. Nothing up front. Right. I I've got, swallowed, just letting it kind of... I got a little bit of what to me felt. was like a, a coffee latte experience that I didn't have before. And they're all kind of blended together now. Almost like a dark roast. Kind of like a mocha. Well, yeah. Okay. No, I could see a little bit of a coffee espresso type. And I didn't get that before. That could be there. Before. Yeah, I feel like they're all kind of together now with the water. I don't know if that's new. I think that was in there. I can see that. That's mm. a good note. Yeah. Roasted coffee beans. Fresh roasted coffee beans. The thing is, to me, it's all kind of collapsed together now. That water collapsed together before. I wasn't getting much of that until the peak came in in the finish. Caramel brownies. Well, just think of all the different notes we're getting, though. Yeah. I mean, that's how much is going on with this, I think. Yep. The different fruits, tropical Damn. fruits, the, the oaks, the peat, the earthiness, the peanut butter, chocolate, the cherries. Mm. The, I mean, everything. Damn, Woo. That's good. Yeah, very nice. We're back to Greco. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to do it, but man, I like the peat, baby. Mmm. I brought four whiskeys. I'm planning on leaving all four whiskeys Woo, here. Shut the door. Shut up. Mm. We, both, we both have plenty of whiskey. Mm. It's like, it takes a lot of work to take it back home. Oh, my goodness. I like the way you talk. You're talking dirty. That's dirty talk. Just going to leave it this here. This is low nine, uh, minimum 90 on the scoreboard oh here. God, this God. is a really well... I love this one. I think this is one... To sit down and decipher 91, yeah. maybe a 92. Mm. 
I can't believe you're scoring first, but the problem is I was I sitting at 90 in or 91 yeah. Yeah, because I'm yeah. loving the peak. But then what's amazing to me, which wants to push it into the 91, is that you're able to preserve the peat while still showing these other influences on the forefront. Nothing really overshadows. Peat definitely takes over the finish, but you would expect it to. 91. This is a masterpiece of the blending of what is going on here. This I'll, I'll stick really right with good. you at 91. This is really good. We've aligned. We've aligned. Maybe a little bit more age, maybe a little bit more peat. Maybe you haven't a little liked bit anything this much since you saw the Marvels movie. <laughs> We're not even getting it. <laughs> he loved that movie. That was his favorite of the of the whole series. <laughs> I gave we'll it I gave it, it a honest. Did. I gave it a Right. As a soon shot. as it turned into the singing, <laughs> you were done. I tried to be unbiased. <laughs> I think I was and it just didn't. Oh, you're anyway, unbiased. You're an unbiased person. Let's... You are. I carry yeah. bias. You are Ooh, unbiased. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I bring it, baby. I bring it. Um, price is on there if you didn't see it $90 it's worth it that's a steal that, I mean when you look at it though a 10 year old blend that mm. does seem a little bit high honestly okay it's well worth it but when you look at you know Billy Walker's involvement Glen Allocky aged Glen Allocky in this Sherry Casks peated Isla yep. whiskeys blended together the flavors cask are, strength yes the flavors that are blended in here are like when you visit a restaurant with a very good chef and the what you're served is a multitude of flavors within whatever you're eating same thing here yeah don't buy if you see this on the sh on the shelf pick it up and i don't know how big was this release has this been has this been available in the uk for a while i don't mm -hmm. know i hadn't seen it hadn't heard of it um, I'm glad. It is seven I'm glad, milliliter. I'm glad Dustin, yeah, reached down there and pulled this one out, and it's coming into Kansas anyway. Uh, maybe it's been available for a while. By all means, this is a yeah. this is a must buy, must oh, try. Yeah. No color added, but, non chill filtered, of course. I think it would make the the whiskey of the of the year oh, list. Yeah. Yep, it can make some. It, it can win some awards. This mm -hmm. one's really, really flavorful. Uh, again, I think what's really unique, this doesn't happen to us a lot. It's really hard to take peat and nuance it. Yeah. Usually peat is just, it's the bull in the china shop. <coughs> this is nuanced. Very, very hard to do. A, a, we've, made, we've made great balance. Yes. Yeah. A great marriage of whiskey. Yep. Billy Walker did a great job on this one. So. Lewis still won't like it. It's too much pee. Hats off. <laughs> he can't do the pee. That's a nod for Lewis. <laughs> he keeps trying, but his taste oh, buds Lewis are different. Sanchez? Oh, yeah. Old Sanchez. Yeah. He can't do it. So, actually, when we, when I was at um, R&J and I picked this one up, Dustin and I had, had, had cracked it. We were trying it. And then a third guy walks up that Dustin knew was a was a regular in R&J. Hmm. And he was talking and stuff. We were. He was looking at the whiskeys, and he's like, "Oh, what's that?" And I was like, "Well, here, try a little bit of it." So I poured him a little bit. He's like, "Wow!" He says, "I don't like peat because that's." He, he, he was like, "That's, that's good." Can I get? It? Wow. And he was like, "Can I get a bottle of that?" Look at you convert. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, this was one of those, and I think it's it's so well done, and it's it not is. just peat forward. It's mm -hmm. just an, a such a nice marriage of all these different mm -hmm. things going on. Great job. It's what you would expect and from Billy Walker. Must try. Must yeah. try. This is a and it doesn't come up where we're where we align a right, lot, right? Occasionally. Well, I always but. say whatever my palette, my score is. The score should mean almost nothing to you unless you know you're reversed of me, and then if I score it low, you should get it. But if you know you're close to my score, then it brings some value. That's why both of us. But when we align, good sign. Yeah, it rhymes too. When we align, let's just close it out on that. Yeah, we're done. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>